Happy New Year. It's January 1st, 2019. And uh, about an hour and a half, two hours from dark, I came to the local area right down the road from my house, like three minutes from my house. See if I can find something to photograph. Uh, I know there's some owls that hang out in this area and lots of little songbirds and who knows, maybe a deer or something. But uh, we're just kind of out here enjoying the day. And uh, hopefully we'll get something to photograph and film for you. So try to start off the year on a good note. So let's see what we can find. Kind of slow in here this afternoon. <clears throat> Seen some deer kind of run through the swamp. Uh, a few turtles, a few songbirds, but everything's kind of far away, so kind of a slow day here in the swamp. But even a slow day out here is better than a good day of work, so I call it a win. But there's still time. Who knows? May uh, may get something between now and dark, but lights fading fast so which is normally when all the animals come out so we'll see what happens it's very quiet today that's what I like definitely have to come back in here um, there's a lot of sign of pileated woodpeckers uh, like every other dead tree has got holes and uh, the bark just ripped off um, where the woodpeckers have been uh, tearing it apart to hunt for the, their food. So definitely have to keep that in mind and probably will come back um, pretty regularly. See if I can maybe photograph some Billy woodpeckers coming up. There goes one right there. <laughs> yeah, he just flew right over my head. Went kind of deep in. But that's kind of, that's good. Good to know. Very good to know. So definitely be coming back in here um, quite a bit over the next few weeks. Especially uh, when we get closer to spring. So, good stuff. Well, guys, it looks like we were skunked, but that's wildlife photography. Some days you get it, and sometimes you don't. So, but it was nice to be outside. Got to see some, a few little birds, some turtles, uh, <laughs> a couple mosquitoes, January 1st. But, like I said, you know, sometimes you can go out, have a great day of wildlife photography. Sometimes you go out and you don't get anything. But that's part of it. Uh, that's why I enjoy it. Um, I've learned just as much in this two-hour little walk uh, than I have or could I have, you know, been inside watching TV. So uh, it's been a good day. We'll uh, head back to the truck and uh, get ready for the next adventure sometime in the next few days uh, or a couple weeks. So. Hope you all have a happy new year and we'll catch you next time. Bye.
Well, it's a week later. Actually, uh, about a week and a half later, and I finally found this barred owl. It's very camouflage, and uh, he's sitting right on the edge of a, a cypress tree. It's kind of preening at the moment, but uh, I decided to stop in. Again, I've been stopping in here kind of every day and uh, just check to see if I'd see him. And I've seen him on this exact limb before, so um, as soon as I saw him, I got kind of excited. So, so it's pretty awesome to uh, finally capture him again. He's uh, in some really, really thick brush, so for still photographs, it's not ideal. And um, there's really no way to access or get any closer because uh, he's in this uh, basically a swamp at the moment <laughs> so we're about maybe 500 yards from the creek so it's uh, it's very wet and swampy but uh, who knows I'm gonna sit with him till dark and who you know he may um, reposition himself or possibly fly to another tree that I'm actually able to get a clear shot so um, kind of close to the highway um, I'm less I'm about a hundred yards from the highway so um, there's a lot of traffic that's going by but uh, who knows maybe they'll uh, he'll come out and, and land right next to me you never know so but just kind of glad that we finally found him took me about a week and a half to but uh, definitely worth it watching him now for quite some time the sun's just about to disappear behind those trees so it looks like he's he's been preening for a little bit so it looks like he's getting ready to start hunting for the night Temperature is dropping pretty quick. It's just still sitting up there, uh, preening every few minutes, looking around. A hawk flew over a few minutes ago and he looked up and watched every move he made. But uh, just kind of currently sitting and waiting, which is what most of wildlife photography is. We're just kind of sitting and waiting, waiting on my subject to do something different. So. Just kind of watching the back of the camera because he's really hard to see he's about maybe 50 yards in the edge of the woods so i'll turn the live view on and um watch him through the back of the camera uh, or while while i'm filming him I'll, I'll watch him there that way i can see him a lot clearer but uh man it's it's getting cold out here as long as you sit it's finally getting cold january it's been hot but every day it's been in the 60s and 70s so it's finally turned cold all right here comes that hulk again it's a red-shouldered hawk. Let's see, yep, he's seen him. That is amazing. That is amazing. That hawk is way up there. And this owl was looking into the swamp and immediately knew he was there and, and turned his head and looked up. That's, that's awesome. I mean... The hawk wasn't even flapping his wings. He was just kind of coasting on the uh, in the wind up there, and he turned his head, looked straight up at him, knew he was there. That's phenomenal. Well, guys, the sun has set. He's flew pretty deep inside the swamp, so 
I think it's time to call it a day. And I'll come back and see if I can find him on another day. But thanks for tagging along with me. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.